Hi YouTube, this is your girl Teresa, AKA Miss Capricorn Goddess. And today I'm bringing you a video on my face routine. So I'm going to show you what I do when um, I wash my face and do my mask and stuff like that. So continue to watch to see what I do to keep my skin looking nice. All right, so the things that I'm going to use I'm going to use my handy face steamer. You guys can see. Um, this is um, power cord. So you will press this button right here when it starts. I've already pressed it. You see it's red. And when it's ready, it'll start steaming. I use this to steam my face to open up uh, my pores so that um, I can get um, my face even cleaner and get that dirt out of my pores. Um, I'm going to use my apricot scrub. Um, I use this because around my nose, it can get a little oily. And then on top of that, I, I tend to peel on my nose. That's how I know when it's time for me to do a scrub. So yeah, I use my April Crop Scrub. I got this from the dollar store for a dollar. It's like two, a dollar or two. And it works just as good as the um, the um, the other brand. I can't think of it. Some, what is it? Some, I can't think of it. But anyway. So then I have my trusty cotton swabs that I use. Um, I use that when I get ready to tone. I have my vitamin C that I use. Um, vitamin C is good. Um, it's good to help the elasticity in the skin. Um, it's an antioxidant, so that's good. And it's used as a brightening. Um, I do have this. This is my licorice and bear, bear berry brightening mist. It's basically, um, it's by this brand called um, Circadia. We use it at school when I was in school for um, esthetician. But um, basically what it is, it's a toner. I use this after I cleanse. Um, yeah. And then I have my green tea clarifying facial oil. I love this. Green tea is good for all skin, especially people who is more acne prone. It's really good for that. Um... And um, this is a brightening that balance the skin as well. So I use this too. So let's just get to it. Steamer is ready. I don't know if you guys can see the steam. Probably can't. You know, you can a little bit. So what I do is I hold my face over it like this. Here I'm just steaming my face. Um, I steam for a couple minutes just to open the pores up. So when I get ready to cleanse, I can get all the excess oil and dirt from out of my pores for a better cleanse when I get ready to cleanse my face. Now I'm getting ready to cleanse. I'm gonna um, pat some water into my skin so that way um, it's better for the uh, um, application of the product. And here I'm going in with the apricot scrub. And you only need a little. A little goes a long way with this stuff. So here I have put only a little. And I'm just going to take that, rub it into my hands, and put it into my skin in a circular motion. Um, because this apricot scrub does have the um, beads in it, and it's good for the microdermabrasion and removing dead skin cells off to the skin, you always want to work it in circular motions. So here I'm just steaming my face a little more to get that product into the pores. And now I'm gonna take my um, little cleanser thing and I'm gonna get that wet, <laughs> cleanser thing, <laughs> and I'm gonna get that wet and I'm gonna use that to uh, remove all of the product from my face. Now 
my skin is beautiful and soft I have removed all of the product from my skin and as you can see you can kind of see a little difference from it from the beginning of the video to now and what I'm gonna do next is um, I'm gonna use my toner and I'm gonna spray that on my um, on my cotton ball and then I'm gonna put that all over my face and this is just putting back the nutrients and um, that you lost during the part of um, cleansing. So it's just putting those nutrients back into your skin from cleansing. Now I'm gonna go in with this Alba Botanica Hawaiian Detox Sheet Mask, and it's a volcanic clay mask. And what I like about this is it's not no hassle with the whole product on your face, just a sheet and you just put it on and you take it off. So um, I'm opening this up right now and um, I'm going to show you what it looked like here in just a second. This is what it looks like. It is very moist from all the product that is in it. Um, I'm just going to unfold this here so you guys can see what it looks like. got to be careful because you don't want to rip it and it's a mask just like it says that's exactly what it would look like when it's all out and open like a mask so what I'm gonna do is I'm about to apply this to my face I'm just lining up the holes with my eyes my nose and my mouth And once you have everything lined up, you want to just smooth it into the skin. You want it to be nice and smooth. Okay, and I'm going to take the nose piece and place that over my nose and smooth that down as well. And you just want to make sure everything is smoothed and touching the skin and just move it out around the edges so it lays nice and flat and neat onto the face. This is the mask. This is what it looks like when it's on the face. Beautiful, beautiful, lovely, so easy. And I have to leave this on for about five to 15 minutes. So while I'm letting this mask sit on my face, I can barely talk. So let me tell you a little bit about the mask. It's uh, by Alba Botanica. It's a Hawaiian detox um, sheet mask, and it's anti-pollution, volcanic clay, hypoallergenic, no parabens, uh, phthalates, or however you say that, sorry, or synthetic fragrances, 100% vegetarian ingredients. And it smells really nice, guys. Um, I think it's because the fruit that they put in it, because the back says that um, uh, it's tropical fruit acid, acids in it, and uh, yeah, it really smells nice. 
So it's almost time for me to take this off. I'm supposed to leave it on for five to 15. I'm gonna leave it on for the full 15, just to give me that extra oomph on my skin. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna leave this on, and this is a process that I take. Um, I don't know if I know. I don't know if a lot of you guys know that I am a licensed esthetician, so I'm very proud of myself with that. So um, I'm gonna try to do more skin videos for you guys, and um. Like this, it feels good on the skin. It's almost like you can feel it working, kind of give you that tingling sensation going on. And oh yeah, I got this mask from Walmart, and um, I think they were like, I want to say two dollars, I believe. They were fairly cheap, and um, I got, I picked up like three of them because I wanted to try it. So this is the first one I'm trying, and um, I'm doing this in front of you guys. So yeah. So yeah, let's continue. And what I think I'm gonna do, um, no, I was gonna steam it while I was on, but I'm not gonna do that. So, well, it's almost time for me to take this off. I got like five more minutes with this on. It's so funny trying to talk with this thing on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm babbling. Um, usually they say it's good to do a mask on your face, whether it's one of these paper masks like this, which is more convenient for, to me than the actual putting the mask on your face and smoothing it in. This is so more convenient to take it out the paper, you unwrap it and you put it on your face and you just go from there. And you don't have to worry about putting the cream on and um, it, you know, wiping it off. Cause some of them can be a little nerve wrecking um in school we deal with different masks and um some of them are a little harder to get off than others so i really like these and just put them on and you take them off so um um they say you should do these masks at least twice a week depending on the mask um i'm gonna come on and i'm gonna show you guys um a chemical peel um i'll probably do that video next week um, I'm gonna come on and show you guys how I do my chemical peels. Um, excuse the background. I got my little junk box right here, but I am in the process of moving. So stuff is kind of scattered everywhere around my room right now. Um, so yeah. This is funny. I almost look like a mime. <laughs> kind of like the mime except for my face is black instead of white. Hey guys, I'm in the box. <laughs> and it sucks I can't laugh with it on <laughs> oh gosh I'm so silly today okay now I'm about to take the mask off I feel like I'm feeling myself Nothing that comes off the back. So you know what I'm saying. Take that. And what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna steam a little bit because it's. Oh, look at that! Look, look how bright my skin looks, guys. Look how brighter this looks. It looks awesome, does it? So what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna steam a little bit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna steam just to get that product to penetrate more. So I'm just letting steam hit my face. Get it to penetrate my face a little more. And I'm gonna leave this on here for a couple seconds. Ooh. 
back in my face. Love how my, and my skin feels so soft. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my vitamin C oil and I'm going to dab a little bit of that one. You don't need it a little. You don't need a lot. It comes with a little thing like this. Take it. I'm going rub your face guys you want to go upwards you never want to go down you want to go up because if you go down you're pulling the skin and its muscles downward and you don't want to do that so you always want to go up when you are doing this okay now I rub that in and I'm gonna go in with my tea tree oil and I'm gonna put a little bit of that on And you're gonna need a little bit for this. And again, I'm gonna rub upward. And this stuff usually keeps my face moisturized literally like all day. It's my skincare regimen people this is what I do every day <laughs> I don't do the mask every day I do the mask like twice a week but the cleansing the toning the um, vitamin C serum and the tea tree oil I do that every um, morning and night um, so yeah this is what I do to my face guys so thanks for watching I hope you like the video and I hope you like my skincare routine even if you guys try it, message me below. Let me know what you think. Please don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye, loves.